Hi, Jake Ostet here with Custom Wine Cellar Scottsdale. We're here to visit one of my clients. Uh, we have a 700 bottle wine cellar behind this door and we're gonna go take a look right now. This is a cellar, is a repeat client. This is the second cellar we've done for him. You can imagine this, it was an old kind of a wet bar area. We took it and changed in the, the archway and the front door and it really changed into a feature of the house. So um, you could see bottles on both this side and the other side. This was a custom designed frame and glass to, to go through this archway so we could create like a real visual from the living room into the wine cellar. Just shy of 700 bottles. We have vintage view metal racking that we put in front of the window mounted to floor to ceiling frames. On the inside we have a little bit more of a traditional white oak wine cellar with the lighted display row, some case storage, diamond bins and we custom made a magnum row, what we call kind of open horizontal storage for magnums. And what we put those magnum bottles on are actually removable cove trays. So if a customer wanted to use a three liter bottle or a magnum bottle or even a 750 milliliter bottle to display, it can be flexible for all of that. The cooling system is a commercial grade cooling system. The evaporator coil is built by LRC. They do many different styles of wine cellar specific cooling systems. In this situation, because of all the glass that we have, we had to go with 6600 BTUs. We have a condenser outside and inside we have the what's called the RM or rack mounted evaporator coil. The biggest reason we want split systems or especially commercial grade split systems is they're systems that can be repaired fairly easily. Any plumbing supply store is going to have the parts, uh, the, the expansion valves or things to fix a system if it goes out, where if you're buying something more over the counter, you don't have that ability. You have to take it out, send it back to the manufacturer, they fix it and send it back to you. Most people don't like downtime in their wine cellars. <laughs>
So this is our vintage view wall that we have in front of. This is the inside look, the glass was on the other side. This is, is a very good look for a visual display of wine. Creates a visual from inside the cellar and creates a visual from outside the cellar where you get to see wine as the feature on each side. And then this is all mounted to a floor to ceiling frame. So it's a great look. It's a great look to combine, to do that, that crossover between traditional wood and metal. So it gives us a look of both. But again, if you could imagine trying to build a wood feature that would be in front of glass, you know, it would be very difficult where this gives you a great look. Now it's difficult to necessarily access this bottle that's up here against the glass where you have to push it through and come back. But it creates, uh, that's where you put all your collectibles that you're not gonna touch for a while. So it's a single deep rack on one side of the frame and a single deep rack on the other side of the frame. You could go up to three deep racks, but obviously you've seen us in this space, it's a little bit tight. And our goal was to get to about 700 bottles and that's right where we sit here. This is a great cellar. I did a very, very traditional cellar for this client about five or six years ago. I believe it was right around 2015. Very traditional, redwood. It was off a bar area. It was kind of in a closet, kind of hidden. It wasn't very visual. Where in this case we had, you know, we tore out, this was actually just an open pass through. There was nothing here, it was just an archway, but we had just kind of a bar area in the back of the cellar. One negative about this space, we do have an exterior window, not something I normally want in a wine cellar, but in this case, we weren't able to get rid of it. It is under an overhang, so there's no direct sunlight that actually gets into the wine cellar, so we didn't have to worry about any kind of window treatments or, or anything like that. There's ways to work with it. I mean, you could have put just a blackout shade on here. You could have actually closed it in, stuck out the outside, done a complete get rid of for the window. You could also black out the window and just vapor and insulate it and frame it from the inside. So on the outside, it's still a window. Uh, you just don't see anything through it. That's another way you can, you can take care of a window problem. But again, we didn't worry about that in this situation because there's no actual direct UV sunlight coming into this window. We figured in the heat load calculation again, so you know all those things are figured into how we size the cooling system. One thing I really specialize in is getting to know a client and what they collect, because you can really design a cellar around what people want. If somebody's drinking all burgundies or all cabs, you're talking about different sizes in uh, just your normal 750 liter bottles. So. I usually design everything with a center line that can incorporate basically all bottles that you're going to encounter from a 750 milliliter bottle. Now, people that are very into wine, they're going to be familiar with Turley's and probably have some Turley's, but you can see just by a Turley bottle versus, let's grab a traditional Cabernet bottle, you're going to see the difference in the girth of what we would call the butt or the pump of the bottle. And you know that can be difficult when it, it, when you start talking about how it's going to be designed into a wine cellar. You need to make sure you have the proper center line to be able to fit those kind of bottles. Every single cellar is going to be designed specific for the size and space that you're going to have. So this center line may be 4.51 inches, or it may be 4.59 or 4.49. But we're going to give enough space so when you take this Turley bottle, which is one of your larger ended bottles, that it'll slide nicely into the space without scratching a label and without it being forced into position. Again, this is Jake Osted signing off. Thank you for visiting one of our custom wine cellars today. I look forward to working with you. Please give me a call. We'd love to design for you as well.